Have you ever had somebody come down to Diego and just thought it was sweet? A lot of niggas came to San Diego and thought it was sweet. Yeah. But, you know, I... I Nigga, when it was treacherous, I knew it. I used to tell mother in the late, oh, no, we can't go there. San Diego was a place I used to be like, oh, no, we're not going down there. Them niggas down there is treacherous like a motherfucker. We didn't know rap. So all, all the same, and when I say we, I'm going to say the niggas right before my we, generation. We came down there once to do something, man. I'm talking about, nigga, I was like, oh, no, we can't go down there. I had to tell, I had to tell the, you know, motherfuckers who didn't know about shit because people thought like San Diego was tourist town. You know, you hear about the waterfront and all that shit. Nigga, please. I used to go down there with my cousin. No. So when I started rapping, and especially when we got to the the real like Compton's most wanted music to drive by type of shit, hey, and the labels used to be like, "Yeah, we're gonna go down there and do an in store and woop de woop," I used to be like, "Nah, we're not going down there. We not oh, going man. down there. You're not taking me down there with mother." I don't want to talk about a lot of shit, homie. I, Two I, mother. I, 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 I love all the homies. You're not taking me down there. Myself and no mother. Taking me down there with no two white reps in the van and shit and one mother security good man, we gonna get ran up out of that mother. Let me just say it like this, homie. Every artist done had an issue, all our favorite rappers done had issues in Dago. And what I'll say, it's not no Dago LA thing. It's that for so long San Diego didn't know nothing about the rap shit. So when they see niggas as gang members, they would just look at it like that's just a gang, gang member. That ain't no rapper. Yeah, that's gang banging. And you, then got you, have the, you got that shit at home though. Mm -hmm. When I saw when I started rapping, uh, yeah, nigga, I had little videos and songs out and shit, but still, nigga was affiliated when I started rapping. So it was like, I can't go over there and sign no motherfucking yeah, autographs. Yeah, to the to these Crips and Bloods. He's a crit. That's it. Mm -hmm. Like, nigga, I don't give a fuck about no rap <laughs> shit and no microphone so shit. So a lot of shit nigga, You don't get that bullshit Dago. up out of here. Nigga, you come walking up in here trying yeah. to sign some autographs <laughs> and shit. No, no, no. Don't, see, you can't set it up like that. Homie. You can't say one guy ran out of... I didn't no, say. I don't say it like that. All I'm oh, saying man. is, the no, they, they, they gang... Let's say it like this. Many L.A. artists have gang banged against San Diego... Artists against gangbang. Now, I didn't say you said run out, big homie. I didn't, right, say that, that, homie. I didn't mean it like that. No, but everybody, nobody. homie, from Easy to Dog Pound to, you know, Mad Circle, uh, all the homies, because them was all active, real niggas. You know what I'm saying? You know who niggas never, they always, for some reason, niggas always like Dub and Dago. Yeah, Dub, Dub is a. Uh, niggas always like yeah. Dub and Dago. I hear a lot of people say they like dub, dog. I don't heard a lot of blood blood cats say they like dub. See. Yeah, I didn't I didn't start performing in Dago until way like to once like, you know, niggas was cool and you know, you'll see me and quick together. Snoop and them even got into it with homies in Dago, like on the on the up and smoke tour. It was, it was yeah. kind of big, yeah. A lot of this shit happened, you know, before my generation of um being outside, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, when I was, you know, a lot of them early years, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Now it ain't, the gang banging shit is a little different because everybody got a rapper now, you know what I'm exactly. saying? So exactly, exactly. So niggas ain't so like, you know, you might have a, a, a rap group come to town three times a year that was some real actual gang members. Now you gonna see a nigga from every neighborhood come through Dago every weekend at one of these clubs. So it ain't so like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, you know, everybody was, come through Dago. It was just different back in the days, man. But it's but. the same everywhere. It ain't just Dago, nigga, shit. Niggas to go anywhere. Yeah. Niggas to go anywhere and need to be on. Shit. San Diego seemed like... Shit in the mother... That nigga was getting banged on everywhere he went on that song. You know what yeah. Denver and mm -hmm. here and everywhere. Nigga, I remember the, nigga, one of the first hard t tours I went on, nigga, some white Crips was banged on me hard my whole set. Nigga, we was in Little Rock, Arkansas. <laughs> the first was a little red. White Crips. Ar yeah. No, 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 no. Omaha, Nebraska. Oh, yeah. Omaha, oh, they, Nebraska. And they will do something to your ass, too. Yeah, man. You can get it anywhere. It ain't, it ain't no nigga. Do that's why I said that's, that, was, that was one of the reasons why um, I never tried to uh, bang 
when it came to making music. Yeah, uh, man, you got you know, to niggas, it. niggas get it by, you know, maybe you'll see something on the album cover or whatever, whatever, but we try to not push it on a motherfucker when it came to CM Dub Records. <laughs> We gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Extra chronic plays. This is not your average show. Like this.